my lovely, lovely imps. There's been a lot of discussion on the internet about sex in movies, violence on TV and sex in movies and, and sex. There's been a lot of discussions about it generally. And I see a lot of sentiments that get bandied around all the time about, you know, people are becoming more sex negative or this, that, or the other thing. And I simply don't agree with that. I have never seen any evidence that society or people as a, at large are becoming more sex negative. Um, and in fact, I think it's fairly, I think it's fairly easy to observe the real reasons um, why uh, there's been so much discourse around all this and so many discussions. And um, it's because of corporations. I know that's a real shocker uh, on this channel, me getting mad about corporations, but um, the reason everybody's talking about sex negativity lately is because for the past year, especially, and it's been ramping up over the course of multiple years, but it's been very intense over the last year, credit card companies, including Visa, um, have been changing their payment processor policies and cracking down on allowing websites that sell adult content to do so while using their payment processing services. So the topic comes up, and of course, there's going to be people who are for it and people who are against it, um, but that co the conversation is only even happening in the first place because some mega corporation that owns, you know, 50% of all payments processed in the world decided, eh, you know, it's not a good look for our brand to be, uh, you know, people are buying sex using our tool that transfers money, you know, buying sexual images or whatever. That's the real reason. And when we, there's another, I've seen another article that was started, uh, that, that generated a lot of discourse recently, talking about how uh, depictions of sex in movies has dropped in the last decade or so by like 30% or something. The number was very high. I don't remember the exact, please forgive me, we're not talking exacts here and we don't need to. Um, this article w went around on social media um, and I've seen a lot of people discussing it. Um, and again, I think there's a fairly easy solution. It has nothing to do with the consumer. It has nothing to do with the average person. It's the fact that movies are now more uh, monopolized. TV production is more monopolized than ever before. You have a handful of streaming services. Disney is bigger than it's ever been and owns more of the studios than ever before. There is a centralized control of these studios and they have a profit incentive. And as it turns out, people have different opinions of things in the, in the world. And if you're only thinking about profit, the absolute best thing that you can do is appeal to topics and subjects that have no chance of upsetting anybody. So instead of, you know, uh, having a sex scene in your movie, you just have them have a kiss scene unless people get offended about it. I don't have, I have seen no reason to believe that the general public is becoming more sex negative or anything like that. Um, I have seen in my personal observation of conversations online, I have seen about the same amount of people who are sex negative uh, and sex positive as I have always observed. Uh, and what I have seen is a massive change in basically every single creative industry that uh, squashes the unique identity of different artists and artists and the, the, the creations of those artists. Um, when you have 900 blockbuster movies making all, all of the money in the world, all coming out from a single studio, a studio that has a policy of trying to avoid uh, topics that could offend people because they need to sell in every single country to every single group on earth. Yeah, you're going to get less movies that have sex in them and you're going to get a lot, you're going to get less movies that have less everything in them that isn't like the most boiled down uh, lowest common denominator sludge. Um, it's a terrible downside of hyper monopolization. And I think that's just a very simple explanation for all of this. Obviously, I do think that there are troubling trends. Um, uh, but but I don't think it's generalized. Like, for example, I think that there is a current 
uh, severe cultural uh, uh, and political uprising of Christian nationalists. But that group of people is no larger than it's ever been. They're just more activated. They're louder and they want to force people um, to do what they want. The Christian nationalist groups that want to make it illegal to depict, uh, you know, uh, gay relationships in books that are going to appear in a school, um, that group of people uh, is, is, is they're aggressive and angry and they believe that they are called by God to force those rules on other people. That doesn't mean that people are more sex negative. It just means that the same sex negative people as before have now devoted their entire lives to it uh, to in, in like a, a slavish mindset. Yeah. Yeah, so it's unfortunate. It is an unfortunate phenomenon, but I don't think it comes from like any genuine sex negative sentiment spreading across the world. I think it comes from, um, I think it comes from corporations largely and observably. Uh, we know that certain corporations are very explicit with this. Visa is very open about the fact that they're cracking down on websites that, uh, that, that sell any sort of adult content. Why? Well, because they can. Visa is the, the, the leadership at Visa uh, does everything to protect their brand. And additionally, they, have, uh, they tend to have conservatives, people who are uh, uh, tend conservative at the top of their leadership. They are, they are interested in maintaining the power that they currently have. It is an inherently conservative position. They don't want to take any risks. So they continue to put restrictions. And they don't care. Of course they don't. They don't care about the people who suffer from that. They care about their profits. So, yeah. Um, in fact, I would, I, would, I would be willing, to, I don't know, I haven't seen the numbers, but I would be willing to bet that there is slightly more people than before who are sex positive. Um, but it's hard to know for sure. Um, and we don't have a choice. And that's the thing. Like people say, oh, people vote with their dollar, but it's not really that simple, right? Like you can only uh, you can only buy what is offered to you. You can only vote with your dollar with the options that are in front of you, and um, the the current like atmosphere around artistic creation is one of mega capitalization. It is, it is hyper corporatized. Um, you don't have a whole lot of options. You uh, uh, you know every single small company that's doing something different gets acquired and is eventually crushed and melted down into whatever is most convenient for powering up the brand i mean hell microsoft just had a massive uh there's a perfect story about this with microsoft in the gaming industry that just happened uh, you know microsoft just closed the doors on even successful studios because they're not making enough money and they believe that by concentrating on their high ticket juicers, their big, uh, their big earners, their Call of Duties and their safe games, by just concentrating all of their funds into that, they can make more money and they probably will. They probably will be able to make more money by doing that. The rest of us won't have any choice in that matter uh, because that's the state that we're in. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously there are broad solutions perhaps, but as far as like when you're going to the store, you can buy what's in front of you. It is a lot harder now for mid-sized uh, you know, game companies to exist. It's a lot harder now uh, for small teams to make money. Uh, you either have to choose between uh, uh, flattening your product uh, into whatever is going to be uh, you know, picked up and bought by giant, by like five giant mega corporations who are looking for the safest product imaginable, or you compete against a sea of other indies with no guarantee of success. That's how it is. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I really have to say about the whole sex negative, sex positive uh, conversation for now. I don't really think it's changed that much. I just think that the corporate world has changed a lot. Uh, the post-pandemic world is one of um, consolidation and monopolization. And we're starting to see the drastic negative uh, effects on culture. And it's going to require people uh, to be bold and brave. It's going to require artists um, to innovate and also, unfortunately, to make personal sacrifices if we want to have 
a world that is full of beautiful and interesting things, like the stream that you're watching right now. You all know that my show is not exactly, uh, it doesn't exactly summon the sponsorships or the ads for that matter. In fact, we've probably already lost monetization because I sweared too much. I said too many naughty words. I wasn't, I wasn't holy enough. So if you want to support this show, it would be deeply appreciated because you know that I have a problem. And that problem is that I have an irrepressible personality. Uh, I do what I want and I bring to you what I think needs to be said. So if you like that, consider subscribing and also consider donating. It mean the world to me. Thanks for watching.